When someone asks me about violence, I just find it incredible because it, what it means is that the person who's asking that question has absolutely no idea what black people have gone through, what black people have experienced in this country. In the 1960s and 70s, Swedish filmmakers arrived in America to explore the black power movement, which the U.S. media saw as a violent threat. We're making a revolution by educating the people to the fact that they should arm themselves for self-defense. If any racist dog policemen attack us, we will defend ourselves because we are bent on surviving. 30 years later, in the cellar of a Swedish television station, an amazing collection of unseen interviews was discovered with some of the greatest revolutionary minds in modern history. There wouldn't be an America if it wasn't for black people. We hold America to our bosom. When you get tired enough, it's when you want to sacrifice everything. Get ridiculed and discriminated and be less than a man. It's a question of dignity and decency. My husband didn't make enough money because he was Negro. We were moved and motivated and charged up by people who had already made a commitment to bring about change. Dr. King is a great man and he's very patient. Unfortunately, I am from a younger generation. I'm not as patient nor am I as merciful. Black is beautiful, but black isn't power. Knowledge is power. In this bankrupt country, there is a point where caution ends and cowardice begins. The community was flooded with drugs. Hoover and the FBI, and they, they made sure that the drugs were an influence. Anybody can die nobly for a cause. A sign of maturity is to live day by day for that cause. We have to document our history. If we're going to tell the story, let's tell the story right. The Black Power Mixtape, 1967 to 1975, featuring Erica Badu, Harry Belafonte, Stokely Carmichael, Eldridge Cleaver, Kathleen Cleaver, Angela Davis, Talib Kweli, Huey P. Newton, Bobby Seale, and Amir Questlove Thompson.